What's up, YouTube? I don't know why I'm going to be working on this now because I'll tell you, it is a beautiful day. Check this out. But I'm going to work on it now. This is like around 7 o'clock in the morning at my house. I'm at the round table. My boat's parked. And we're going to be putting the drift paddles on the power poles today. So I'm going to show you how that's done. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I'm headed to Grenada. Headed to Grenada uh, next week. And we want to have the drift paddles because we're, we're definitely going to be doing some spider rigging. So there's the beast. And I'm going to walk you through it. So uh, please subscribe. Stick with me. And I'm going to show you how to put these bad boys on the, pow on the power poles right here. So... Yeah, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Beautiful day. I'm going to put you right here, walk you right through the whole process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're definitely going to lower them down. So the first thing you need to do is remove the two and a quarter inch bolts from the knuckle of the power pole. And then you're going to attach the drift paddle stirrup mount to the knuckle itself by the supplies that they actually supply you. It'd be a flat washer, a stirrup mount, and a plastic spacer. So then you simply attach the drift paddle stirrup. Now it might take some persuasion. Tap, 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 here we go. And this is me actually working on the first blade, folks. I actually have another one I'll actually walk you through while I'm in it. But this is kind of a first rough draft. I didn't want to look like a complete idiot when I was doing it. All right, so then all you have to do is do the quick release pin, install that. That kind of locks that joint to the actual paddle itself. And then we're gonna bring it, the whole entire deal, up onto the blade itself. All right, so we're gonna fast forward this a little bit here. So we install the, the actual patty by using the upper and lower rubber slip-on attachments. I use kind of a 409 mixture that allowed it to slip on very easily. And I'll tell you folks, it doesn't get much easier than this, but hey, this was a quick, quick run through. And actually we're gonna slow it down here a little bit and actually walk you through the next one to make sure you under, fully understand what we were doing here. So partial, partial tightening of those bolts and then fully tighten it once we got the actual paddle on. All right, so this guy's gonna come up here. And slide in there pretty, pretty tight. Sometimes you need some persuasion again. What I have found out, it looks like it's coming through. There you go. Came all the way through, we put our bolts on, and we repeat for the bottom one as well. So I don't tighten them up yet. Neither did my fellow YouTuber. We wait to the end to tighten it up. But yeah, so when we were at the uh, Washington, we were watching some pretty good teams just sit there in the cypress trees and let the fish come to them. So you can imagine putting these power poles down that's the beauty of having a power pole is that you can just sit there as well, not just drift, in other words. Um, and they were just watching their live scope. So we want that same advantage if we possibly can get it next year. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think that these are, this isn't the easiest thing to do single-handedly. Especially if you're trying to film. Okay. All right, so you're getting these big washers in there. You need the big ones on these blades, it looks like. So it's definitely a tight, tighter fit than, than you would think, but it is a very tight fit, which means it's good quality. In my opinion, the tolerance is low. The tolerance is high. I'm gonna knock that in there, persuade it. And voila, it comes right out. So then we've got to put a washer in, then our bolt. Again, these are 7 16 So I'm just gonna tighten those up just a little bit because they looked a little a little loose. A 
Okay. Now we're gonna secure these bad boys on with these guys right here, see? And what's gonna happen is we need to lube up the, the pole a little bit. I do that with 409. 409, both sides. That's gonna allow these to, that's gonna allow these to slip over. And we're gonna go ahead and walk up here and raise the power poles just a little bit. Okay, we didn't mean to raise them all the way up. There you go. Right there. So, this is pretty cool. You just go ahead and you slip this on, and because we have that 409, it's gonna slip up here pretty simple. See, all the way up, boom, right there. Slip that guy right in there. And they've got a little groove on these guys. And then all you do is you twist it back. Right there. So, you just line it up perfectly. It looks like that right there. And that's perfect for the first one. Now the second one, you've got to put a uh, an insert in. So they come with two diameters. There's a bigger diameter, a smaller diameter. We'll just leave it at that. We use this the bigger diameter on these blades. So all we do is we have to insert this, this insert into this guy right here. And again, I use the 409. That makes everything really slippery. And all I do is I put this insert in here. There you go, and that's what it looks like. So now you've got an insert on that same guy. I lube up this guy again. Okay. It slips on. Nice and easy, and it goes all the way up to this corner right here. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. Slip this guy in there. Turn it, and voila. There you go. There's your power poles right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back down. See how quick that was, folks? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Boom. Bam, it's down. That's your uh, fully extended there. We're gonna go ahead and finish tightening those bolts up just to make sure that they are secure. Now these drift paddles come as an accessory. You have to purchase them. I believe they're around 200, 250 or something like that. So again, not cheap, but as a crappie angler, the advantage that these give me is huge. The advantage these give me is huge, and uh, it allows me to use these as, you know, drifts. I don't have to use drift socks. I don't have to use chains. I can use these paddles. And uh, if I want a little less, so I'm gonna show you how this works right here. Pull the pin, oh, wrong pin. Okay. okay so there are two pins up here folks so you make sure you pull the right pin you pin you pull this pin here and you can see that rotates out of the way makes it nice air aerodynamic when you're going down the road these rubber things allow that to occur they're flexible so when you're drifting you might want to drift it straight like that or if you want to make a natural turn you're going to put it on an angle so really cool really slick um, very quick install I like that I like that but we're going to adjust these right now we're going to bring these because we're going to go down the road and we're going to try it for the first time today we're going to we're not going to we're not going to stay in here all day folks we're going fishing i think we're going to pull crankbaits today all right there you go we're done and that didn't take long at all so pretty cool stuff um i'm excited about the drift paddles we're actually doing a, a couple tournaments this fall and then uh we're going to be back on the trail big time come uh, the springtime so we're looking forward to it and we're going prepared we're gonna have power poles so drifting totally recommend them um, the installation is easy so check it out please subscribe all that great stuff uh, I'm going fishing I mean it's a beautiful day check it out it's a beautiful day yeah bluebird day I think we're doing crankbaits today might try a little piles but then we're gonna go crankbait for sure that's on the agenda I got the poles and the in the uh, in the boat and as mark said you usually go prepared to do crankbait fishing or not and that's what we're doing so thanks again please subscribe bam three pound fishing baby thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies